frustrating moments like I'm like I just knew it so early in the fight being as dry as he was but like, you ain't getting away you can try to keep your hands locked and deal with it from there or you can try to uh, escape when you're caught in the first couple of minutes of the very first round and one of your limbs is starting to be manipulated look that's going to be a hard spot for anybody if you want to learn how to do an armbar the right way go rewatch this fight everything the, 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 that fight was uh, a no-brainer to redo no excuses so when I heard about him I like I pulled him to the side I, and I told him I said listen don't listen to anybody trying to tell you that you can be uh, like the, the best striker in the world and then knock people out. <laughs> this is what I was telling him. I had no idea that he was trying to be Chuck Liddell. There's a really, really good sign and I saw it firsthand. He has the mentality to get really, really good at jiu-jitsu. Within three minutes, he shows up on the mat and just says, we're your best guys. And I said, oh, okay. So I hooked him up with my best guys and he just kept wanting to go with all my best guys. That's amazing. And I, nobody does. Guy. promise you this is we got all sorts of landmines waiting for us. Yeah, we know where the fight where he wants to take the fight and there's gonna be some traps there all sorts of them <laughs> and no one knows about them we're not talking about them but we, we've been working on this for for a while Jesus. so who knows what's gonna happen This our main event of the evening. Both fighters are 30 years old, with big differences in height and reach. We set it inside the octagon. Here's Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Touch gloves, let's make it official. The fighters touch gloves. Ready to fight. Ready. And here we go. Nice. Really threw everything into that uppercut, but fell short. 
Kick to the body is there. Splits the guard, connects with the punch there, Joe. And he connects with the punch. Oh, he missed that kick. Another shot lands upstairs. Going to the body there with the right kick. Oh! Oh, spinning back fist. He solved it right there. Trying to establish that jab once again. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. He switches southpaw. Blocks the shot. Wow! And a miss with the right hook. He is really finding a home for those body kicks. Right on the button. Ooh! Hurt him with that over here. Two minutes have gone by here, round one. He's looking to take the back. He's got the back and he's locked both hooks in. Oh, right, we'll see if he can lock in on the choke. Whenever you're caught in a rear naked choke, tuck the chin, turn the head towards the choke. He goes with the body triangle to lock him in, and he escaped the choke. And busy as he looks to improve position here. He's got side control. Full mouth. Very nicely done. And lands a good shot. Hip escape, and he's out of the full mount. Nicely done. Excellent movement on the ground here. Always trying to better his position. And they clinch here. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. And he pummels out of it. Oh, this could be good. He's got the double underhooks now. Need the body here in the clinch, Joe. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Muay Thai clinch now, Joe. A lot of damage can be nice. done here. Big knee! Big knee! He's got him up here. Now goes in and secures the takedown. Now he moves to full guard. Excellent movement and transitions here on the ground. Staying busy. And he lands a hammer fist. Hip escape, nice hip escape. Postures up. Big punch from the bottom. He's got excellent pressure from the top. Passes out of half guard and now moves to side control. Final minute. Over under now, Joe. Oh, he's got double underhooks here in the clinch. Good spot to be. Pummels out of double underhooks here. He's got the double. Spins around, gets the back. 30 seconds now to go in round one. Oh, gets the takedown late in the round here, Joe. Trying to take the back here. He's got two hooks. Oh, he went for the rear naked choke. Now he's got it. He opens it up. Pulls him onto his back, goes palm to palm here. Wow, oh, that was close. Ariane Celeste is with us. You ready to fight? You ready? All right, Good. second round underway. Look for him to go on the attack early in this round to try to pick up where he left off in the last round. His opponent was dazed and in big trouble when that round ended. Oh, nice. That one hurt. And he eats a right hand there. How about that shin? Oh, powerful right leg kick. And there's a takedown attempt. Oh, he lands another strike to the body here. Well done to block that powerful kick to the bottom. And that one certainly found the target. Ooh! Doubling up on the jab. Landing a good series of strikes here. Well, he gets 
Crack to the head there, Joe. He continues to be vulnerable by leaning in. He's almost moving into the strike at this point in time. You got to get that head off the center line. And he connects there. And he gets the single leg. In full guard here. Working on a guillotine. He's in full guard here, looking for the guillotine choke. What he needs to do is, he needs to wrap his arm around the... Oh, he lost it. Once again, working on a choke. That choke looks locked up tight. Look at that, that is high level ground game there. This could be it. And Stunning. Stunning. And he really made it look easy. didn't tap in time, and went out. Well, you've got to admire the toughness, right, to not tap out. Ultimately, he chooses to go to sleep, but offensively, near-perfect execution on that submission. Beautiful transitions, clearly loose with his hips, and everything he did on the ground was near-perfect technique as he ultimately gets the submission win tonight. And so let's look at it again from another angle. He doesn't even get a chance to tap. So there he is, your winner by submission. That could hold up as one of the better subs of the year. Near perfect execution tonight. Let's go to Bruce Buffer inside the octagon with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called a stop to this contest. At one minute, 53 seconds of round number two. For the winner by submission, the Warrior. Well, what a submission win for this oncoming force here tonight. I think he's going to be a problem for a lot of fighters in this division. Tonight, though, is all about the celebration after getting the finish that he so sought. Coming in here tonight, you see how happy his coaches are, his training partners. This is going to be a fun night for this team and one that they have richly deserved.